thinking. Liam, let's look at their team tonight. Yeah, well, there's no changes from the team that uh, beat Iceland the other night. It was a great win, and the coach has given them the, the go-ahead to go again. Uh, they got um, Yuzozo, uh, the goalkeeper. He's only 19, but he's acquitted himself very well. Then they've got a back three, and all, all the back three are huge lads. Two of them play in Turkey. One of them play, Balagun plays in Mainz of Germany. Uh, they're all big, strong lads, very good in the air. Uh, and then there's an English field to the, uh, to the midfield. You've got Mikel and Didi. Uh, Mikel played a lot of games, as we know, at Chelsea. Good player, strong player. And Didi is also a big, strong lad in the middle of the park. Moses is going to operate up and down as a wing back. Idowu Ido the same on the left-hand side. Uh, Etebo is uh, the other midfield player, and up front they've got uh, two guys uh, in Musa and Iniacho who have played quite a bit in the Premier League. Musa didn't really succeed and he's gone back to CSK on loan, but I think he showed his quality the other night with those two goals against Iceland. Iniacho is the young lad, 22 year old, is at Leicester City. Uh, he's been a bit part player. Um, and he needs to show something tonight that he hasn't showed so far in the tournament. I would say Musa is the better player. But all in all, uh, a side that's confident after the other night, a side that's physically strong, uh, and uh, you know, with uh, having those three points in the bag, a draw might be enough for them tonight. Okay, let's look at the Argentina team, Rishi. A lot of changes, as you would expect and understand, given the performance they put in against Croatia. The first big call is made in goal. You'd understand why Caballero was dropped, given how he played the other night. Armani comes in. He's a 31-year-old goalkeeper, plays for Boca Juniors. This is his first start for Argentina. He's making his international debut in a game of this importance. So that's far from ideal. He's made a call as well to go to a back four which they did in their opening game. Rocco comes in at centre-half to partner Otamendi. That's a far from convincing partnership for me. Benega comes in to midfield for his first start in the tournament. Mascherano keeps his place. I think his legs are gone. His influence in midfield is waning and has been for some time. Di Maria comes in, returns to the team. He's there lined up as a left player in a midfield four. He obviously can play in front three on the left-hand side as well. As Eamon mentioned, Higuain is back in in place of Aguero, who's had some off-field issues with the coach as well. Messi, obviously, is their main man, but they need a hell of a lot more than just Messi to improve their performance in goals, in defence, in midfield, up front. Everyone was culpable the other day.